Hello, this is Paul from First Attack. In this video, let's prove theorem 1.6.4, uh, which is equivalent statement or equivalent theorem. And then we do have uh, equivalent theorem for four, right? So 1.5.3. All right, it tells us some conditions for invertibility. A is invertibility, A invertible, and then B, C, D. These are old. Okay, so let's say. Uh, we already proved that before. This is uh, from theorem 1.5.3. There are two. Okay. So now what do we have? We have this is new. These two are the new conditions for immutability. So we prove E and the F. Uh, both are equivalent to uh, A immutability. Okay. So we look at look at it. This is the major major one. So how to do? We have a basic strategy. So look at a proof for what is E and F. We have this strategy uh, that put the A here. And if A is true, and then uh, I will put F here. And then I will put E here. We do this strategy. OK. See, <clears throat> we proved the first. If A is true, then F is true. And the second, if F is true, then E is true. The third, if E is true, and then A is true. OK, so therefore, we have a loop. Means, uh, see, A and F are equivalent because A to F is true. And F to E and then to A. So F to A is also true. The same for others. OK, so we follow this strategy. Um, Look at A to F. What is A to F? Okay. Uh, A to F means uh, A is invertible. Okay. And then we need to find what? F means uh, A X equals B has a unique solution, right? Exactly the one solution means a unique solution. That's a unique solution. Okay. Why? Here the first. Mm, and definitely we have a before, right? If A is invertible, and this should be has a unique solution. Okay. So that's a theorem uh, 1.6.2 or 0.3. Okay. So you can see. Or I, I show you here. That's true because easy. If A X equals B, okay. if A is invertible, I can do this. I can left the multiply inverse of A, left the multiply inverse of A, and therefore this is I disappear. Okay, that's I identity. What do we have? We will have X equals the inverse of A times B. It is unique because. The unique matrix is uh, the inverse matrix is unique and the multiplication is unique, right? So therefore, this is unique. Okay, so that's true. Um, therefore, this is a uh, a to f. Then now, what is f to e? F to e is uh, obvious. Okay, why? F says uh, for any matrix b, for any vector. Okay, so. The color matrix B, AX equals B has a exactly one solution. Has one solution means consistent, right? So E definitely is true. Okay. You have a solution. Of course, the system is consistent. Therefore, from F to E, okay, obvious. That's true. That's obvious. And then uh, we have uh, one left from E to A. Here we need to take a little time from E to A. Now, what is E to A? Uh, e says, you see, A can see because B is consistent for every vector B. Okay. So I put it in this way E uh, is uh, a x equals b is consistent. Okay, because b is 
system for any for any b like the b okay and then a says a is uh, yeah, vertible <clears throat> let's see why okay um we have a do do some special okay because here consistent for any for every vector b okay therefore i can pick a specific vector b see so let's pick let's just pick uh the first okay like a b1 equals this one zero zero dot 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 good zero you know what this uh this is exactly like e1 standard unit vector in n space right okay like x axis and then <clears throat> the same i pick a b2 which is e2 with a zero one zero uh da, 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 goes to zero that's e2 and then the last b n i also can pick which is E N zero 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 and the last is one. And for each vector the system should be consistent, right? Okay, so let's do now. Um for example um, A times uh, X equals B one. And this should be consistent, right? By the condition. If this is consistent, then we can find a solution, right? So we simply say one solution, or simply let's pick one solution. Good enough. Uh, a solution. Uh, let's say x one exists, right? Because the system consistent, and then the same. Uh, AX equals B2, AX equals B3, AX equals all the BN are consistent. Therefore, I can get this. I write the general. This equals any BI. And this is uh, consistent. Okay, so therefore, what do we get? Um, we get so solution. Okay. Therefore, solution for each one, okay. So X I exists. Uh, what is the I stop on one, two, da, 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 goes to the last. Okay. And for each system, uh, we have a one solution. Okay, just a pick one solution one by one. And then we have a result. That is a simple result. Uh it says what A is invertible. Hmm, why A is invertible? Because I put a hmm, a invertible means we find the matrix and a multiplied by the matrix and then equals identity. If a times b equals identity, then a is invertible. Okay, so uh, that's the theorem, the previous theorem 1.6.4, right? Okay, we just have uh, point 0.3, sorry. So and then we will find this uh, a times x one, right? Okay. Uh, the first, and then x two, at the second, and then I will put all x and together to form a matrix. See. And this is the matrix B. Okay, I will find A times B should be equals zero because I can easily do this distribute that block matrix multiplication. Um, I should find this. I should find a big matrix which is A times X one. The first column. Did I make two? Second column, and then the last column, and this should be equals B one, B two. Da 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 goes to the last, which is a B N. Is that a true? Yeah, because see, 
ax1 equals b1 because we just define x1 is one solution of ax equals b1 okay, therefore a times x1 equals b1 and again one by one and what is the matrix and this is i okay, we get oops sorry and this is the matrix i because the column is just a standard column vector, standard unit vector, okay. So this E1, E2 to EM put together is just an identity matrix. Okay, means what? Means this is the inverse, right? So now, if this is a B matrix, then, uh, okay. And then what? Then A is uh, invertible. Okay, so that's DRN uh, 1.6.4, we just have, okay. <clears throat> is that true? Because A times B equals I, so A is invertible. And that's the proof uh, for E to A. Okay, therefore, we completed all this uh, loop. That's all, thank you.